Guys, all better acknowledge this review today on the channel, Mattel Elite 88, Roman Reigns. Welcome everyone, Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel for another Mattel Elite 88 unboxing review. And today, like I said, we've got Roman Reigns, the old big dog, the old head of the table, the old tribal chief doing some of his best work of his career right now. Arguably the best work of his career right now. And we're going to see it and we're going to talk about it in Elite 88. As you guys know, recently on the channel, let's say one, two weeks ago, depending on when you're watching this, we did unbox Top Picks 2022 Roman Reigns. Well, Looks to be identical figure to that. So if you saw that review, this might be a lot of the same. But we'll do a little comparison. We'll do a little smoke and mirrors to try to make them look a little different from each other. And all that kind of fun stuff like we always do. But first, we're going to do this review like we always do. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. And we'll compare it to that top picks, Roman Reigns, like I said. And see the differences and see what's going on there. So without any further ado, let's get to the old head of the table. Let's get to the old tribal chief. Well, let's take a look at Roman Reigns. 2021 packaging, of course. You got Roman Reigns down below. Mattel Elite, Glamour Shot, True Effects. We got the figure. We got a soft, good shirt. We got extra hands. We do got the title belt, which I do like that a whole lot. WWE logo up top. And then you got the Certified Authentic. It's Certified Authentic WWE Roman Reigns merchandise right here. Uh, cream of the crop. And there's Roman, a little Glamour Shot action. Elite down below. And you got Roman Reigns, a little Glamour Shot from the ring. Elite down below. And then you got that same glamour shot of Roman Reigns. You got his name by him, Elite logo up top, Elite 88 at the very top. A little blurb, you know, we'll read the blurb. And then we got the rest of his cohorts in Elite 88. We'll unbox those all on the channel this week, so make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit the notification bell as we're unboxing them all, as you guys know. One thing about this, though, if you guys, if there's collectors out there that don't like the new Top Picks packaging or you don't like this packaging, I guess you can go one way or the other with your Roman Reigns. You can say, well, I like the new packaging. I'll skip this one. I'll get it in the new packaging. That is if you're a min on card collector, of course. But I guess that gives a little bit of option there, a little difference, depending where you sit on the fence. I got to think uh, the average loose collector really doesn't care. But min on box collectors, they might have a preference out there. So that is one thing. But let's see what it says about old Roman on the back. From old Pensacola, Florida, 265 pounds, six foot three, career highlights, universal champion, WWE champion, intercontinental champion. The big dog proved why he's the head of the table after recapturing the title he never lost, the universal championship at payback. Uh, he sure did that, that is for sure. So let's get him out. We got that blue background we always got. There it is. See you later off to the side. Bam, see you later. There it goes. Plastic prison, Roman Reigns looking only like he could look. Well, he's buckled in a little bit. I'm going to have to cut him out. I'm going to have to cut him out here. Got the old handy-dandy knife. Maybe. There it is. He's out. All right, we're going to pop these hands out. I'm going to pop that shirt out, of course. Whoa, we're throwing stuff all over the place. There's that little twist tie. See you later. See you later. Oh, can I hit the screen? See you later. There it goes. All right, Roman, what do you got? He's got more twist ties on him. There it is, all over the place. We've got the title belt. All right, now where are we here? So we got the Soft Goods Head of the Table shirt. We've seen this in the past. I do appreciate the Soft Goods compared to the old school uh, Polly Pocket plastic shirts. Those are terrible. They're too puffy. Uh, soft Goods is the way to go all day long. So I do appreciate this. We did get this same shirt with the Top Picks. So that is uh, no different between the Top Picks one and this Elite 88 one. Uh, we're talking hands again. Same thing. We got these hands with the Elite 88 uh, nothing different here, but we do got the gold fisted hand here. So the Superman punch is living strong right there. So we do have that, but we have two fists here. And then, of course, we get the uh, WWE title here. But this, I don't know, this SmackDown title is not as pretty. Uh, they seem to have cheaped out on the titles a little bit. Um, just the quality isn't there of past titles. That just seems to be me on first impression. But at the same time, I do like getting a title whenever I can. And this is the point of difference in the 2022 Top Picks and Elite 88. As Elite 88 comes with the, you know, the Universal title, Universal title. 
uh, but doesn't come with uh, the other one doesn't come with any title so if you're a title belt collector there's a little point of difference this would make this technically a better value because you at least get a title where you didn't get it in the past so i guess my recommendation right here just with that logic you probably want to get this elite 88 if you're an opener out there just because of the extra value with the title that makes all the sense in the world to me so We've seen those titles before. It kind of is what it is. And then Roman, it's the exact same Roman we had before. And I'll grab that top pick Roman right now. Here's how I have it displayed with two open hands. That means I'm probably going to go two fisted hands on this one. That's probably the best way to go with this Roman Reigns. Does he fit on a ringside collectible uh, stand? I'm sure he does. Use discount code Kyle, save 10%. Fits like a glove. There it is. So this Roman, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put two fisted hands on him, making a point of difference. He will have the title belt on him. Uh, he will not wear this shirt. I'll have him without his shirt. And I might look around. I might look around my collection. But, you know, he wore the Lays for a little bit. Would have that kind of going on. Maybe I can find something like that to give it a little draw and a little different attention. Because if you take the shirt off, you put the title belt on him, you put a Lays on here, you put a different hands on him, it does feel a little bit like it's a different figure, even though it is the exact same figure. Uh, that's how my mind works. That's the way I'm going to try to do it. But I think if I had to do it all over again, in all honesty, I, I got really jump of the gun. I got excited about those top picks, so I ordered it. And I forgot totally that this same exact figure was an Elite 88. Luckily, I did remember Bill Goldberg. That was a straight re-release. I didn't need that one. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Jeff Hardy, at least, was a new figure in the Top Picks line. And I do like that a lot in the Top Picks line. Uh, keep giving us at least one new figure in that Top Picks line. And the rest can be re-releases. Uh, I'm fine with that for sure. But this Roman, like I said, I would have passed on it if I had to do it all over again. But it's okay, and I understand why you need this Roman uh, in both sets. You know, Elite 88 will be on the store shelves probably before the top picks. Uh, maybe not. I guess you know, stranger things have happened in this distribution world we live in right now. But top picks only come out two or three times a year, where Elite sets are on about a six, eight week every other basis, something like that. So the top pick kind of fills the gaps in between the Elite 88. So Roman will be on the shelf for a little bit. For everybody to have him for the holidays and that kind of thing. You need your top stars. You need your champions out there. That's the process of the top picks. That's the process of a lot of it. Uh, but that's the reasoning for this. And I understand what Mattel's doing. Because we all got to take that step back and say, hey, it is a business at the end of the day. Got to put our old business hats on. That's the reason to do that. Because Roman's going to move those units, especially at this point in his career, or what's going on with the holidays coming up. So it is a smart move. Uh, even if some of the collectors don't like it and they feel like maybe there was a wasted space in here a little bit. Uh, but we all got to remember that business side of things. But there it is. Not a ton to talk about since we just did this review a week or two ago. Uh, so you guys probably got the gist if you watched that one. Hey, go back and watch that one. Maybe you missed it. You can kind of look at both of these and you get the comparison here. So there it is. But there it is. Elite 88 Roman Reigns. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this Mattel Elite 88 unboxing and review. Let me know your comments down below. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the old notification bell. Follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram. And of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So for Elite 88, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.